This morning's a review for this topic this day. Because this is entitled The Message That You Need To Hear. And I firmly believe people more than ever need to hear this message. Stop worrying. (laughs) Okay? It is all going to be okay. (laughs) That's what we're meant to say, right? That's what we're meant to say. Some people around you would say, well, how do you know it's going to be all right? And and why should I believe it's going to be all right? And and so on and so on and so on and and kind of things like this. And I simply say, well, what's the alternative? (laughs) That you sit there, that you worry yourself sick, that you're miserable. Divine Spirit never intended for you to worry yourself sick. Divine Spirit, that amazing little voice inside of you, Intended you to listen, intended you to trust, intended you to go forth, and intended you to enjoy. I had people around me when my YouTube channel very first began, and I'm speaking this into the future. Because I believe with all my heart, mind, body, and soul, that within five years, our little YouTube channel will have grown to such a level, it will blow the majority of other YouTube channels away. I have been there, my friends, when all around you said, look at all the time and effort you're putting into this show. Why why are you bothering? You're getting 25 people watching. You're getting 10 people watching. You're getting 5 people watching. You're getting 50 people watching. My friends, I have been around business long enough now to know that everything you do is done with a long-term investment. And that anybody that tells you otherwise, they're kidding themselves. Stellar business does not just happen overnight. You do not become a best-selling author overnight. The manifestation may reflect that overnight. But in order to get to that point, the chances are you have had to work hard at your craft and at your skill for many days, weeks, months, even years, even even decades before you see it manifest. So many times I wanted to stop. <laughs> doing a YouTube show. I wanted to stop doing the Artist Heart Live. I wanted to stop, you know, singing and dancing and performing. I had professional YouTube experts take a look at my page. And you know what they said? They said, oh, you're just, you're just about all the jazz. You're about all the singing and the songs and and you, you you know, there's nothing, there's nothing there that's going to be marketable. And I chuckled because in my own mind, very confidently, not in my own spirit, but in the divine, I remembered that I was in business when some of these guys were in diapers. And I was committed, come a hell or high water, that every single week I was going to be there. Why? Why on earth would I be there every single week when the fruit that was being born was small? The answer is simple. Because to the 25 people, to the 50 people, to the 100, 150 people, 2,000 people, to the 1,000 people, to the 10,000 people that saw what I did, that heard what I sung, listened to what I said, What I did mattered. What I did mattered. And if I was ever, if there was ever, ever any hope of reaching a million people, two million people, four million people, ten million people, that I had to start by reaching one. If you don't reach the one, you're never going to reach the two. You don't reach a two, you're not going to reach the four. If you don't reach a four, you're not going to reach the eight or the sixteen. 
or the 32 or the 64 it all starts with one I remember the first time when I made my first art sale I sold a painting it was a custom painting I think for maybe it was either the, the first one was either £12 or £25 I still remember that day I still remember how much work went into my artwork I remember that feeling and then see that the problem was it kind of stopped becoming fun because you make, you know, £12 in a week and you think, oh wow, but it's £12, you know, from your own business. And I was like 17 when I started. We didn't have a lot of money. To me, £12 was a lot of money. It almost bought a week's worth of protein powder to help my bodybuilding pursuits. I remember the, the net, and by, by the way folks, I should tell you that this is at a time long before Facebook even existed. I was doing it through the chat rooms, and I was figuring it out. I built my first site on Wix, and I was figuring it out, and I'm still figuring it out to this day. I feel here in 2022 that I have got a better grip on business. in 2022 than I had in 2020, than I had in 2018, 2016, 2014, than I had in 2002. Most people say, oh, well, yeah, that, that should be logical. It's like, no, no, you don't understand. I feel physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually that I have a better grip on business. Why? Because I feel, see, hear, more connected with the divine spirit God almighty than I ever ever had been before so I remember you know what it was like to sell my first painting how amazing that was and then you know I remember what it was like to make my first thousand pounds I remember what it was like to make my first thousand pounds in a week I remember what it was like to make my first 5,000 pounds. Oh my word. I remember what it was like. To look in one of my accounts and see 25,000 pounds. The numbers. I think it was like 25,168 or something sitting in my account. Look at think, oh wow, look at this. Because that was more money, physically manifest, than I could have ever, ever dreamed of. I remember the very next year being so all over the place, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, guess what happened? That reflected the numbers in the bank account. I remember what it was like to write out through the ages, to write the stories that exist in that book, to write about such topics, both filled with amazing, incredible light, and filled with unimaginable, unbelievable sorrow, misery angst and horror and for those of you that are wondering I'm very delighted to tell you that my new book series will be available all being well this is the aim at least it will be available from November 17th 2022 and I honestly believe my friends that this book series is going to change the world it's going to change my world 
It already has changed my world. This has been an idea that has been conceptualized, researched, studied, thought about every single day of my life since 2017, bar none. I kid you not. It originally started out in, in its infancy as nothing more than an art history docudrama. <laughs> I started filming this thing by myself. If you ever filmed a docudrama, you realize actually there's a heck of a lot of work that goes into it. And the idea was that I was going to teach art, I was going to take people back in time to what it was really, really like. Boy, am I thankful for lockdown and that that never manifest. Because I think had it, I maybe would have wasted my entire time. But what it actually birthed was a book, was a story, was something incredible. Everything that we go through is divine. Rumi said it best. That when there, is no one, when there is no one else around you and everyone falls silent, it's at a time that God wants you and your attention for himself. Those words echoed so strong with me in 2021 as they do today. When everything seems bleak, and I'll bring things to a close a little bit here. When I was, I think, in the, the midst of the, the fifth edit of my book, I'd gone through four full edits, a number of changes, a number of things going on, and I read those words over and over and over and over again, desperately wanting to move on to the next story. Because I already had that written. It needed editing. I was desperately ready to move on. Painting orders have gotten less. <laughs> Here's a funny thing for you, actually. I, I think I've talked about this in another uh, another uh, conference, another seminar. But I remember asking God to bring me more artwork, to bring me more customers to buy my artwork. You know what his response was? You've got three paintings that are laying unfinished in your studio right now. Why on earth would I bring you more customers when you haven't completed the orders that you already have? See folks, if you want to be successful and prosperous, you've got to be prepared for it. And you've got to decide, you know, do you want to write a book? Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to finish a CD or whatever it might be? Because I honestly believe to save your reputation, to save your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul, your very, very conscious, your very, very sanity, that God will not give you more than you can handle. I have three paintings sitting there waiting. Thanks to the, the different legislation in, in laws and customs and whatnot, I needed to chase several paintings with parcel to go, all of which were chased, and no problems at all. It's just there'd been delays in customs. Now imagine if God had given me my wish <laughs> and said, you know, here's ten more orders for you. Great, the money's wonderful. There's five grand. But is the five grand worth the sleepless nights, the headaches, the anxiety? You no, know, you'll get the five grand, don't worry about that. But finish what you started before seeking to go on to something else. And so it was with my book. God said to me, Think the Spirit. And, and God, God, I, I tell you this, Divine Spirit, God is speaking all the time. Okay, why do people miss it? Because they don't believe it's God. So God stops speaking. That, that's the difference. What you believe will literally be a reflection of your external world. If you believe God is speaking all the time, you will hear God speaking all the time. If you believe that God never speaks, God will never speak. Because you've already set that into motion that God never speaks. So God is literally just filling 
what you believe about God. It all sounds so simple, doesn't it? <laughs> well, when you put it like that. But it is. It is. It's human beings. Human beings are the only, only species that are totally discombobulated in the world that they inhabit. You never get a lion that compares itself to another lion and says, Oh, you know, your tail looks really good. Oh, look at your mane. You, know, <laughs> you never get a hyena that says, Your laugh is better than mine. You never get a dog that says, You cock your leg higher than I do. You know? Human beings are the only ones that do all of this. Human beings are the only ones that are confused about their gender, their sexuality, their need to be right, their need to have a religion, their need to have politics, and people turn around to me and say that human beings are God's highest form of creation. I turn around to them and say, what dog, hyena, have you ever seen shoot someone because they don't agree with its gender? Granted, a dog would probably eat, or attempt to eat the cat at least. Would pull out a gun or stab it or do something insane? No, human beings are not God's highest form of creation. Human beings are absolutely dumb. Genuinely. Yeah, you know, dog wants to be happy, it's happy. Human being wants to be happy, it has to find every reason why not to be happy before it can actually attempt to be happy. Anyway, I digress. I'm having a tremendous amount of fun, folks, and I hope you are as well. But the reality is, like it or not, human beings complicate their lives beyond measure, beyond anything that you could even comprehend. For example, God gave you, in, in, the, uh, in the Bible, I believe in Exodus, it does appear several times throughout Scripture, but particularly through Exodus, God gives Moses Ten Commandments. These are Ten Commandments which to live by. What do humans do? They add another... I think it ends up being like 216. So they add another 206. Completely complicated. God says, I want you to go write a book. I'll give you the words to speak. Well, God, should I publish it here? Should I publish it there? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I add this? Should I add that? Should I do this? Da 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 da. What subject? How high? How long? How wide? What color? <laughs> and God's like, I'm willing to help you here. <laughs> and that was a beautiful thing about Art of the Ages. That's the title of the book series, by the way. It comes out in November, 2022. Really excited about it. That's the really exciting thing about that book and the entire series. That I co wrote it with the Divine Spirit. As many of you know, I went through some incredible spiritual changes in 2021. Lost sight of it a little bit in 2022, but there was a lot of contributing factors to that. Mainly one of them was that I didn't believe that I could be this divine spirit and write a best-selling novel upon the subject that I was writing about. And again, you notice how I'm skating around the details or refusing to, to commit myself here. <laughs> but what I found out in the middle of 2022 was actually, yes, I could write an incredible book in the amazing divine spirit and being focused on writing it in the spirit rather than the flesh. First draft of my book was written in 11 days, 237 pages from start to finish. The story exploded. My wife then asked me four very specific questions about the book. Why this would happen? Why the main character would do this? Why was this put in in this part, particular place? And from 237 pages, the book exploded to a 700 page story that will make you feel like you've never felt before, that will take you on a journey and on a ride, introduce you to a saga that will change your entire life in the way that no life coach or no religious leader ever, ever could. Why? Because while I may be 
developing my grammar and my literacy skills. I'm one hell of a storyteller. And I can visualize things in a book like a film, like you would not believe. That's why. And also because God blessed me with an incredible wife who is a wordsmith, a person who loves words, in case you wondered. So I'm going to finish with this because I know I'm already going over my time here a little bit. I want to thank you so much to everybody for bearing with me. Well, I expressed just some thoughts. None of this is written down, but I hope whoever hears this today will really, really benefit from it. I want you to leave with this. In your life, you only get 130 years, 120 years in fact, tops, according to biblical scriptures. That's physically here on the earth. Okay. Many people won't even get close to that. Many people will live maybe 70 years, maybe 80 years tops. I've only lived 34 years of my life. In that time, I've been a bodybuilder. I've been an amateur wrestler, I've been a podcast host, I've been a musician, I've been an international artist. I'm the author of a very, very wonderful book series that's already out called The Battle to Your Face. Hope in uncertain times. Hope in times of uncertainty. Whatever the, 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 uh, the subtitle is. What I'm trying to say is you are here for a purpose and a reason. Do not listen to the people that would tell you otherwise. Because you are. Your job is to remember what that purpose is. Now some of you it may be to be a cog in the machine in the working world and to go to work nine to five to feed your families to do all that kind of great stuff. Others, your job is to create something incredible. Maybe a book, maybe a CD, maybe a painting, maybe a course, maybe a building, maybe architecture. You got a long, long time to physically be dead. So don't waste your time here on earth just worrying about bills and just worrying the best piece of advice I can give you is this figure out how to turn what you love into something that you can sell something that you can make money with figure out investments go and invest in the S&P 500s look at the index funds look at the FTSE funds begin with Hardgreaves and Lansdowne Charles Stanley Direct do your research it is all out there for you I made a decision in 2022 that I was going to build assets I was going to build assets as many as I physically could because I got sick and tired of working for money because no matter how hard I worked I always had to find another client I always had to find another customer, I always had to find another project, another job. And then I suddenly realized I wrote one book. I published it independently on Amazon and on my website. And it kept bringing me money over and over and over again. And it wasn't humongous sums of money, but it was wonderful to see that. I created a painting. Anytime I create a painting, guess what comes along with it? Prints. Cards. Merchandise. I create paintings that people love and want to buy the artwork to. In all its different forms, they may not be able to afford the painting themselves, but they may afford a print. How magical is that? Those are two assets right there. That's when I figured it out. I was going to buy into companies of stocks and shares that I used each and every single day, health and fitness. In the bodybuilding world, you know, there's a ton of that stuff. Spiritual, spiritual stocks and shares. Food, technology, art, history, every single thing that I studied, every single thing that I 
used every single day. I was going to buy a stock and share it. Guess what? They increased exponentially. When you study that which you desire to become, incredible and amazing things can happen. But please do not die with your music in you. Please listen to the divine spirit within. He knows why you are here on earth and that very thing that you're passionate about that you've been putting off that you don't believe that you could be a success with is the very reason you're here. When I found in 2021 that I loved writing novels, I loved putting my artwork to said novels, my entire world changed. Like you would not believe. Why did it change? Because at last, after 20 years in a wonderful business as an internationally renowned artist, serving people all over the world, creating products of beautiful color, elegant style and sophistication, in the world that I loved, that had kind of become a little bit seamy, didn't excite me as much, I had found a whole new world where I could incorporate everything that I'd learned in the world of art, I could incorporate it to the world of literacy. And I could begin a whole new adventure. And for anybody that believes that dreams don't come true or dreams can't come true I want to give you a new belief today I don't give you anything just so you know I just speak words and hopefully it resonates with you somewhere and the final words are this when you commit to that very idea that you desire, desire to see manifest in the real world. When you commit to that idea, i.e. you're not flirting around with it, you're not playing about with it, you are committing to it wholeheartedly. God moves through heaven and earth to help you succeed in it. When I became an artist, Facebook was created. Facebook is one of the biggest marketing places, sites, platforms, whatever you want to call it, in the entire world. I'm glad that a lot of the young folks say, oh, that's for granddads. Why? Because it means I've got zero competition from young folk on me. Not that there is competition in the world. That's, no, that's another illusion. When I committed and said... I want this book. This book will be an internationally renowned bestseller. I will be a best-selling author. I am a best-selling author of this series. This series is going to change the world. This series is going to change people's lives. Why? Because 200 years in the future, I may not be remembered. 200 years in the past, I wasn't even a thought. So I'm alive for a time such as this. And the reality is, what is the alternative? I write a book and it sells a few copies. I don't want to write a book that sells a few copies. I want to write a book that impacts an entire generation, an entire millennia. I want this book to touch people's lives and change it like you would not believe. And I think it covers just about everything possible. I know never ever again with this particular book, the first one in the series, I will never write anything as complex, as complicated, and possibly even as popular ever, ever again. And I'm okay with that. Because I'm here with a divine purpose. I recognize that by the time this is all done and dusted, by the time the project is over, I'm going to be 54 years old. This is a 20-year vision. One book to come out each year, every November 17th. And not just any book, but a great book. So my friends, stop throwing your life away. Time is the only commodity that there is never enough of. You can never get it back and we're always chasing it. And just like that, my time is up. 
Namaste, my friends. God bless, and thank you so much for listening. God bless, and thank you so much for listening.